hello everyone in this video i'll demonstrate the welder preset with this you can add the welding to any mesh object with the curve or with the edges of the mesh it is completely procedural and you can use this as a modifier in this video i'll explain the settings of this modifier and how to use this as asset so let's get start so you can get this tool uh, from the blender market from my gumroad page or from my patron page you will get this zip file so when you unzip this file you will get these files asset file and the blend file so the first step is we have to assign this folder as SL library in the blender preference and here you can add that folder as SL library just navigate that folder select this folder and add SL library now you can add this welder modifier directly from the asset browser so let's open a new file so let's add a cube let's also add a material for this base mesh metallic maybe around 0.1 okay now let's split this so that we can view the settings of that modifier the welder modifier and change this to asset browser and if you go to the ks tools and here you have this welder modifier just drag this onto the object and it will add this as a modifier let's change this to the shader editor here we're going to add the second material and select that welder material see we have this welder material right now there is no welding because we haven't defined the curve or the mode for the welding okay by default it is set to curve so we have to add a curve object let's uh, let me pin this now select this curve then we're going to redraw this curve onto the mesh surface let's delete this select the surface see it is adding the welding to this cube based on these curves okay you can also use the edges of this mesh to add the welding so let me first hide this curves and here you can change this mode to edges then it's going to add the welding to the edges of this mesh by default it's going to add the welding to all the edges of the mesh however you can also define the edges with this attribute option okay so this is the length sampling for the edges as well as for the curve it is basically deciding the resolution for these welding strips so you can increase this if you need let me show you this one so we have this resolution for this strip if i lower this it's going to add more resolution to these strips next is the align option by default it's set to surface so it's good to use surface for the curves and for the edges you can use the edge mode see it fix this issue so this is before and this is after okay and the last option is the height you can hide the original mesh and next is the radius of the welding okay and you can also add the noise variation to the radius if you add a more noise radius it's going to create a rough welding effect let me show you this see after that you have the welding parameters first is the offset basically offset from the surface it help you to resolve the clipping issue of this welding with the base mesh this is the trim option with this you can basically animate the welding then this is the round option it is going to make the edges these end points round it will be more clear if we switch this to curve mode and if i make this zero you can see that these endpoints are clipped so we can make them round something like this okay next is the subdivision settings you can increase that for your final rendering it's going to basically improve the details of this welding these are the particle settings here you can change the seed density radius and how much bigger particle you want to scatter 
and the spread it is a spread from the edges or from the car see the last is the material so here you have the welding material it has three main uh, panels look pattern and emission so in the look you can change the hue saturation and roughness and if you increase the roughness it is going to create a polish welding effect and in the pattern you can basically change the offset scale detail and bump strength so with the offset you can basically change how much material is piling up while welding see if i make this a uh, smaller we have a really rough welding and if i make this around let's say two five or three five we have this really nice pattern for the welding okay this is the scale for the detail if you increase this you're going to have a smaller detail for the welding okay then you have the details so with this you can add a small scale details to the welding see next you have this bump strength so with this you can basically make the welding really smooth or really enhance this pattern okay and the last is the emission you can combine this emission with the trim setting to create this animation for the welding okay so this is it about the settings of this preset so if you have any query or doubt you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me on my discord channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye